Jennifer McSween. I'm a community relations liaison with the Youth Employment Center. And I have my lovely colleague here, Lita, who is also a community relations liaison with the Youth Employment Center. Um, so before we kind of get started, I'll go over a little housekeeping about how the event is going to work. Um, as you can see on the right hand side, there's a little chat box area. So Throughout the course of our info session, feel free to pop in any questions that you might have um, about what we're talking about, and then we can answer them for you. Um, on the bottom of your screen, you'll see a little hand with a mic. And that is called grab the mic. So if you're brave enough and if you want to grab the mic, you can do so and you can actually ask us a question like face to face. So you will have to turn your camera on and then you can actually talk to us. So definitely feel free um, to utilize that as well because we love seeing your beautiful faces. Um, and before we kind of jump into the actual um, home maintenance positions, I'm just going to tell you guys a little bit about the actual youth employment center. So um, for those of you who don't know the Youth Employment Center, we work with youth exclusively between the ages of 15 to 24, and we offer free employment services. So everything we offer is completely free of charge, which is super amazing. Um, you have an employment counselor that you can connect with on a one-on-one -on -one basis, and they can help you do things like develop a resume, help you with your interview skills, job search, and you can get connected to our hiring events that we're going to be hosting um, later on this month. So if you haven't already connected with a Youth Employment Center counselor, make sure you do so. Um, currently, right now, we are only accepting um, online appointments or remote appointments. They can be done over the phone as well. So you'll have to uh, pre-schedule yourself and you can do so by visiting our website youthemploymentcenter.ca and then you can schedule yourself an appointment there. So definitely check that out. Um, we, Like I mentioned, we are hosting a youth environment at the end of this month. So super, super exciting. We've got 13 employer partners who are going to be um, present at the event, uh, over 200 positions available as well. Um, so lots of exciting opportunities. Um, you do have to be a Youth Employment Center client in order to be invited to this event because it is an invite only. Um, we are going to be doing some pre-screening and then helping to pre-schedule you for an interview as well. And today we are talking about home maintenance positions. So we're going to actually tell you uh, some of the companies that are specific to home maintenance and what those positions really look like. And so Lita is going to go over um, some of those specific details with you guys now. For sure. Thanks, Jen. Uh, so one of the first companies that we're working with, it's called, well, the first company I wanted to talk about, I should say, is 1-800-GOT-JUNK. So they're a residential junk removal company. Uh, and they're hiring for a couple of different positions. One is the truck team, and they have some pretty special qualifications for that. They, they do need candidates that drive and candidates that have four years of driving experience and a clean-ish driver's abstract. Uh, and so that's because of insurance purposes. So um, people do need to be 21 with four years of driving experience, and that can count your time with a GDL or with a learner's license. And that's just because of their insurance company. Um, the truck team is the group they work together and they go out to customers' houses to pick up whatever junk that the customer is getting rid of. And they do some customer service and marketing as well. So obviously they're meeting with the customer. The customer needs to be at home. So there's a little bit of that in-person um, required or in-person interaction required and some marketing. So maybe when you, you get there, there's going to be the chance for that person to hang some door hangers at the neighbor's houses and promote the service. This job is not just a summer job. It can last all year and there's full training available and there's ongoing training for this opportunity as well. So it's a great chance. Um, it can be part-time part or full-time, which I think is pretty neat. Um, you could even work one day a week say, especially if you were a student and that's all the time that you had. Uh, so that's one of the opportunities. And then they're also hiring 
uh, yard worker. So we have one opening for that right now. Um, so still available if anyone wants to apply. And the yard worker is going to just stay at their, their yard and then it will help to unload the trucks and sort through the materials for recycling. So a lot of the stuff that people are getting rid of at their homes can be recycled. So they'll fit, fight, you know, look at it, decide is this garbage, is this metal, is this electronics, wood, whatever it is, and make sure that it gets put in the appropriate place. And that job is specifically for a post-secondary student. So if you're a post-secondary student looking for a summer job, this is a great chance for you. With these positions, um, you do need to be available to work at 7 a.m. Um, they're doing like a staggered start to the day um, because of COVID. So you do have to meet at their office in Southeast Calgary. Um, you don't need to drive to work. Uh, the yard worker doesn't need to drive at all. The truck team, you could still take transit to work as long as you have that driver's license. Uh, so that's 1-800-GOT-JUNK. If anybody has any questions about that, um, grab the mic or put it in the chat. And I'd be happy to answer that for you. And the next one is with men in kilts. So the men in kilts provides residential window washing and outdoor home maintenance. So what I mean by outdoor home maintenance, it means like gutter cleaning of houses, like cleaning out the eaves troughs, uh, maybe power washing siding, uh, could be power washing a driveway, anything like that. So it's, it's outdoor maintenance on a home. Candidates do need to be 18 and have a class five driver's license. A GDL is okay. And again, a cleanish driver's abstract. Uh, candidates must be comfortable working at heights and on ladders. Um, obviously, you're going to be climbing ladders and cleaning out those gutters or washing the windows. Uh, all training is provided. So they have a shop where they can do all the training to, so you know how to do all the safety uh, stuff. Uh, it's going to be outdoor work as well in different types of weather. So at the beginning of the season, it might be a little bit cooler uh, than in the middle of the summer. And in the summer, it could be super hot. And with this job, candidates do need to be okay with getting dirty um, because that's just going to be part of the job. Um, so... Uh, uh, they're, I think they're both great opportunities, and they both involve a little bit of customer service as well. So Men in Kilts does too, right? Because you're on the outside of the house. People might want to know about how they could get their windows washed, or you know, people might be at their home. Um, and I believe for Men in Kilts, you need to be on site at work at, by 8 a.m. Um, so it looks like we have a question from, from Mary. She wants to apply for the job. Okay, so Mary, I'd like to know which one are you interested in, Men in Kilts or 1-800-GOT-JUNK? You can type that in the chat and, um, do you want, and I can talk about the process that we're doing for this hiring fair. Okay, so with this hiring event, um, all, all candidates need to go through the Youth Employment Center. So your next step is you need to be fit between 15 and 24 and you need to connect with a counselor at the Youth Employment Center. So if you have one already, uh, just reach out to them and say, hey, I was at this uh, info session and I really want to apply for a job with Men and Kilts or 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Uh, if you don't have a counselor, you can make an appointment on our website, youthemploymentcenter.ca. Um, so you can make an appointment and meet with a counselor. Um, we're getting pretty booked up, but we're opening up some spaces in the evenings and weekends so that you'll be able to see that all on the internet. So Mary, it says you're interested in the yard, the yard position, and that's with 1-800-GOT-JUNK. So that is 1-800-GOT-JUNK, and the position is yard worker. Um, Yes, so you connect with your counselor at the Youth Employment Center. Let them know you're interested in any of these jobs. And then they'll just double check some of the qualifications. They're going to go into, you know, some more detail than I've done here. 
Uh, then you'll, ha you'll be asked to research the company a little bit and create a targeted resume. Of course, your counselor at the Youth Employment Centre will help you with that, making that targeted resume and a cover letter if that's required by the employer. Then the counselor will refer you to one of the community relations liaisons, so myself, Violet, or Jen, and then we will get the referral started. We'll do another phone screen with you just to check and make sure that you meet the qualifications as well as do a little bit of interview prep. So at that time, we'll ask you some questions just to see if you're comfortable talking about yourself and talking about your skills. Um, and then we will send you the information to schedule an interview. Uh, that is uh, the process. Um, does anybody have any questions about that? We're, we're hosting some workshops as well. There are some uh, interview skills workshops coming up over the next couple of weeks too if you're not so sure about your interview skills. And I just put out a poll here to see um, how many people actually have a targeted resume. So it looked like it was 50-50. So for those of you who haven't created a targeted resume before and maybe don't even really know what that looks like or how to get started, the best thing you can do is really get connected to one of our employment counselors because they can really go over um, the format and, and what to include on it. Because if you've never really made one before, it can be super intimidating and you want to make sure that your resume really stands out from the crowd because as you can imagine, there's lots of different applications coming through, um, lots of different competitions. So you want to make sure that your resume gets picked out of the pile. And uh, our employment counselors are really good at doing that really helping to explain, um, you know, what's important information that needs to be included and information that maybe doesn't need to be included as well. And then they'll also look over the job posting with you too, so that you can kind of pick out certain keywords um, to know what to put into your resume and, and really what like an employer is looking for. So like Lita had said before as well, we are also going to be hosting interview workshops. So these are really amazing too um, because interviews in itself can always be, you know, kind of intimidating, a stressful experience, a little nerve wracking. So if you haven't done an interview recently or maybe your interview skills just could really use a little brush up, um, I would definitely recommend going to these interview workshops because they'll go through um, how to properly format your answers, um, how to present yourself so that you, again, stand out from the crowd and just what to expect in an interview in general and some of the general etiquette um, that maybe you weren't aware of before. So some really great opportunities um, about that. I will also mention that we are also hosting a couple of other information sessions related to the hiring event um, this week as well. So tomorrow we have the brick. Um, they are going to be coming and actually we have a hiring manager from the BRIC who's going to be actually doing the info session with us. So a really great opportunity for you to be able to connect with the hiring manager, ask any questions that you might have, um, really kind of be able to give that first impression, um, especially because we have that opportunity where we actually have the hiring manager who's going to be present. So definitely would recommend that and I'll pop that in the chat as well so that um, anybody who's okay. interested... Oh, perfect. Thank you. Yay, she's on top of it. So anybody who's interested in attending this session as well, um, feel free to register for that. If you aren't able to attend, but you really want to receive the information, no worries. Still register for it. You'll have the ability to access that video after the session is over as well. So if you're in school um, or whatever it might be, if you're just busy during that time and can't make the event, you can still log into your Run the World account, go into the event and watch the recording after the event has happened as well. Um, we've got another event too, Leader right? On uh, Thursday. 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 Yeah, so we have the Labor, Customer Service, and Sales um, info session happening on Thursday. So again, it's kind of similar to what Lita and I did today, but we'll be speaking specifically about that industry um, or those industries and the employers who are going to have positions for that. So again, if you're interested, Lita has popped the... Um, link for anybody who wants to join that info session on the chat bar there. So definitely would encourage you to find out more information about some of those positions and if you're interested in specifically working uh, in those industries. Did I miss anything, Lita, or did you want to add anything else? Um, I'm like, well, we do have one with pedal heads coming up, but that's uh, not until the 19th. Yes. Next Friday. 
So we'll definitely, and you guys can keep um, track of all of our events as well on our website. So uh, youthemploymentcenter.ca, you'll find all of the info there and you can actually see all of the upcoming events and all of the info sessions and everything that we're kind of doing. So best resource for you to to have is our website to make sure that you're keeping current on everything that's happening because sometimes we have like just um, info sessions that we plan kind of last minute and we're not really able to share um, through like an info session like this. So the best way is to really check our website and make sure that you're checking on a regular basis because like I said, we have kind of last minute opportunities that pop up and it's a great way for you to get all the information. So that's uh, youthemploymentcenter.ca again. Mm -hmm. So we do have lots of openings still for these types of positions. Uh, but we do encourage you to get applying um, because we, we know that things are getting busy. Um, we know that right now it might be hard to get an appointment at YAC. So again, we've opened up some of those group opportunities, but the sooner you connect, uh, the better, and then we can get moving on this. Uh, does anybody else have any questions uh, about these opportunities? We're hoping to be able to see some of your lovely faces here soon. And uh, like Lita said, the event is coming up soon. Like it's at the end of March and we're already like kind of midway through March, which is, all, that's crazy for me to even think that we're like midway through, but thinking that it's at the end of the month, it is coming up really, really quick. Um, we do want to make sure that we get you guys through the process um, and we can make sure that we have that resume crafted for you and put you through. Um, so if you haven't already connected, definitely the first step to do would be to connect with the Youth Employment Centre and then just let them know that you're interested in a home maintenance position. Um, perhaps it's with 1-800-GOT-JUNK or maybe it's with Men and Kilts, um, but your employment counselor will know all the details about all of the different positions that are available and they can definitely help to walk you through um, what that looks like as well. Great. Well, it doesn't look like anybody has any other questions here. I'll give it a couple minutes because I know sometimes it can take a while to kind of um, think of what you want to ask. But <laughs> feel free if anybody has anything else that they want to add or any questions that they want to ask us, just pop it in the, the chat bar there or grab the mic if you feel comfortable enough to chat with us because we love chatting with people. Um, and we can definitely help you guys out. Mm -hmm. I'm just checking our other thing here. Yeah, okay. I it already. <laughs> oh, perfect. Yeah. I realized that there was like a separate chat feature on this website, which I never knew about before. So I feel like I was missing a lot of questions and I just realized that it was a thing. So yeah, it looks like um, we had a couple people that were talking in there, but Lita, you've addressed all of the questions there. So I think we we're good to go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any last comments from you, Lita? I don't think so. Uh, just hoping that people will connect so we can get some more referrals and get people in for interviews. It's a pretty exciting opportunity. Definitely. Yeah, huge chance for young people, especially if, you're, if you love working outdoors and doing some of that home maintenance type stuff and you want to have that on your resume. This is such a huge opportunity for you to get connected to these positions, to these hiring managers, because we have that direct link for you. Um, so take advantage of it um, because we uh, we have the chance for you right now and we don't always have the chance with these employers. So definitely want to take advantage while you have that opportunity. Okay, well, it looks like nobody else is asking any questions. So we won't um, drag this on for any longer. Um, thank you again, everybody for attending the session today. It was really lovely connecting with you all. And hopefully, um, we'll maybe see you guys in some of our upcoming sessions throughout the week. Um, hope you guys enjoy the beautiful sunny day out. Stay safe and hope to connect with you guys in the near future about these job opportunities. Thanks again for coming out. It was great chatting with you guys and we'll talk soon. Okay, bye. See you soon. Bye. Thanks, guys.